Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk to you guys about growing bee balm for cut flower purposes. I have this particular variety is bee balm bergamo, bergamot, um, I've heard different names. I was initially put onto it from Florette and reading um, her cut flower book and I have grown it for two years now and just wanted to share some uh, pros and cons, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, um, so that you can maybe consider growing it for your own cut flower garden uh, at your home. So first off, one thing that I really like about this particular variety of bee balm is how unusual it looks. It I have not seen any other flower like it with these tall stacks of just very interesting blooms sort of reminds me of salvia in the way that there's like a hook on it um, it attracts pollinators like crazy uh, let's see I think I've got a bee right now um, and so that's always nice. I have grown to just uh, really desire that for whatever flowers I grow in the garden. It just makes uh, having a garden so much more enjoyable to see all of the bugs and creatures that can enjoy it with me. Other things I love about it, it overwinters uh, and self seeds like crazy. I would say it self seeds way more than I need it to. I actually grew it over there last year in my uh, raised bed over there and wanted it to be in its own space. I think this clump, which it's a really big clump, um, is maybe about six, uh, six plants. Nah, probably a little bit more than that. But let's see if I can take you down to the bottom of it. Oh, I've got some pots in there. But, uh, so there's probably, I don't know, maybe 10 plants in there. But it branches out like crazy, um, overwinters very easily here in zone seven. We did have a mild, more mild winter, but definitely got down to temperatures of um, below zero a few times. So it definitely can overwinter, probably if you start early enough. Um, and can also just really grow easily from seed, even if you wanted to grow it um, starting in the spring. Each plant, let's see if I can show you. What's beneficial is that you will get multiple cuts from a single plant. So here's like a center, a center shoot is nice and long. I could have cut this center bloom out and had, you know, as long of a stem as I wanted. Now I could have, you know, cut this out and have two really long stems. So anyways, it's, it's branching. And so you have the opportunity even to cut it and have multiple blooms on a single cut. Here's an example of how it looks in a mixed bouquet that I created this past week. The next thing as I transition into um, some of the downsides about it is uh, it's a pro and a con. It has a fragrance and I remember reading on Florette's website that it was like Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey tea. I do not think that this smells like Earl Grey tea. Um, to me, it almost smells like oregano, um, like Italian seasoning, which is not necessarily what I like smelling in a bouquet. Uh, it's not bad smelling. It's just not like a sweet floral smell like you would like mixed in with your roses. Uh, but um, but maybe it's one of those things that it smells different to different people. Just for me, I it's not my favorite smell, but I don't despise it enough to stop growing it because clearly it blooms very well. We are here in 
the beginning of June and if I continue to deadhead, I will continue to have blooms through August. The next con about it is that it does sometimes wilt rather easily uh, once, once cut, especially if I'm cutting when it's warmer outside. So it's one of those things that you definitely wanna cut early in the morning if you're gonna use it for bouquets. Um, and the other thing that I would say is a negative, also a positive depending on how you look at it, um, is the self-seeding aspect of it. It is really aggressively self-seeding if you don't keep it deadheaded. So, you know, I think that's sort of a thing with bee balm in general is that, um, yeah, can just be very aggressively spreading by seed. So easy enough to pull out if you keep your eye on it, but I still have, I dug all these up in the beginning of winter and transplanted them over here when they self-seeded over there. And I've still got a bunch kind of interspersely self-seeded. So with all that, if you guys have any questions about my experience, experience growing bee balm, please shoot me a comment. And if you're interested in more videos about the cut flowers that I grow specifically here in my garden, I'm planning on uh, shooting out quite a few of those here in the coming weeks. So be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.